What's up guys? So in this video we're going to talk about the domain and range of polynomial functions. And similarly to when we discuss n behaviors of polynomial functions, the domain and range is going to depend on the degree, so whether it's odd or even, and the sign of the leading coefficient, whether it's positive or negative. Now, the domain of any polynomial function is always going to be equal to x e r, no matter which case you're dealing with. Because if you think about a polynomial function, the way it looks, so let's draw a couple of examples. So let's say the end behaviors from here to here, so something like this, perhaps maybe even like a parabola or a parabola that opens down. We can also have maybe like a line. <clears throat> there's an infinite amount of possibilities, but no matter what polynomial function you draw, there's never any limit on the x values. The x values can always be anything. Hence why the domain for all cases of polynomial functions is always x e r. x can be any real number. Now, in contrast to the domain, the range we have to do on a case-by-case -case basis. So let's start off with the first case. Degree is odd and leading coefficient is positive. Well, if you remember, the end behavior of this case is that the polynomial function is going to start in quadrant 3 and then it's going to end in quadrant 1. So perhaps something like this. That's an example of a polynomial function with an odd degree and a positive leading coefficient. Now, if you notice the y values, they keep going on forever and ever, and there's no limit on them. So, we know here that the range, the y, is also an element of real numbers. There's no limit on it. So, whenever you have an odd degree and a positive leading coefficient, that would be the domain and range. Now, what if it's odd and a negative leading coefficient? Well, the end behavior of that <coughs> We know that it starts in quadrant 2 and ends in quadrant 4. So something like that. That would be an example of a polynomial function with an odd degree and a negative leading coefficient. Notice here how there is no restrictions on the y values either. So the y value can be anything. In fact, any odd degree this would always be the domain and range, no matter what the leading coefficient is. Any uh, polynomial function with an odd degree has a domain of x e r and a range of y e r. Next case, even and positive. So if it's even and positive, that means that it starts in quadrant 2 and it ends in quadrant 1. So let's say it looks something like that. Now, because this function is always starting in quadrant 2 and ending in quadrant 1, you know that it's going to have to turn somewhere. And there's always going to be some kind of minimum value for it. In this case, the minimum value is here. However, it could be anywhere on the graph. But the point is, is that there will always be a minimum value for an even degree polynomial function with a leading coefficient that's positive. So the range will always be y can be anything. However, y has to be greater than or equal to some kind of minimum. We don't know what the minimum would be, but it would be the lowest point on the lowest y value on the function. There will always be some kind of absolute minimum. And for our final case, an even degree and a negative leading coefficient, we know that the end behaviors would start in quadrant 3 and end in quadrant 4. So let's say it looks something like that. Because it's starting in quadrant 3 and ending in quadrant 4, it's always going to have to turn back. So there will always be some kind of absolute maximum point on this function. So we know that the range is going to be y is an element of real numbers and y has to be less than or equal to some kind of maximum value. Alright, so pretty much the only two types of polynomial functions where the domain and range has a certain condition is for even degrees. And uh, 
sometimes the y has to be greater than or equal to a minimum that's when it's an even uh, degree and a positive leading coefficient sometimes it has to be less than or equal to a maximum value when it's even and has a negative uh, leading coefficient like this one here because it's always going to have to turn back so these are the four different cases for domain and range of polynomial functions